Hello everyone. Let's learn about cell cycle and its checkpoints. At the end of this session, students should be able to describe various phases of cell cycle and its checkpoints and describe various cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases in various phases of cell cycle. Cell cycle or cell division cycle refers to cyclic occurrence of series of events leading to cell division to produce two daughter cells. Cell division is required for normal growth, development and maintenance. There are cells which divide continuously like intestinal cells and red blood cells. And there are some cells that divide under certain conditions like hepatocytes and lymphocytes. And there are some cells that do not divide at all like cardiac muscle cells and nerve cells. Human beings have developed elaborate control mechanisms to regulate cell growth, proliferation and differentiation. Cell which die either by senescence or as a result of tissue damage are replaced by new cells in a strictly regulated manner. If there is any derangement in the control of cell growth, proliferation, differentiation and survival can cause cancer. Let's talk about the phases of cell cycle. There are four phases in cell cycle. G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase and M phase. All phases except M phase are together called interphase during which cell prepares to divide. The actual division occurs in M phase or mitotic phase in which both the DNA and cytoplasm divide to produce two daughter cells. So let's first talk about G1 phase that is growth phase or gap 1 phase. During this phase RNA and protein synthesis occurs and uh, this phase biosynthetic activity of cell increases including those enzymes required in S phase. The duration is highly variable and it lasts for 6 to 12 hours. S phase is called as synthetic phase and it commences with the start of DNA synthesis. During this phase entire DNA is replicated only once. RNA synthesis and translation is very slow and this phase lasts for 8 to 10 hours. G2 phase or gap 2 phase. This phase lasts for about 3 to 4 hours and it lasts until the beginning of mitosis. There is no DNA synthesis, only RNA and protein synthesis continues and microtubules are also synthesized during this phase. M phase is the shortest phase about 1 hour during which sister chromatids separate into daughter nuclei. Activation of each phase is dependent upon the proper completion of the previous phase and progression into the next phase. If there is any error, the cells temporarily stop dividing and go into stage of dormancy called G0 or state of quiescence. During this state, cell repairs damage. However, if the damage is very large and cannot be repaired, the cell undergoes apoptosis. So this is a defensive mechanism which prevents the transmission of damage into the next generation. Now let's talk about cell cycle checkpoints. There are three checkpoints or control points for regulation of cell cycle. These are G1S checkpoint, G2M checkpoint and M checkpoint. Entry into different phases is strictly regulated at this checkpoint and cell damage is checked and repaired before it is allowed to enter into the next phase. At G1S checkpoint, if the cell size is proper, necessary signals are present and DNA is undamaged, then cell is allowed to go from G1 phase to S phase. But if it is not proper, cell is arrested in the G1 phase and it undergoes repair. DNA damage is repaired and if it cannot be repaired then cell undergoes apoptosis. At G2M checkpoint, if DNA replication is completed and DNA is undamaged, cell is allowed to go from G2 to M phase and but if it is not completed and if there is DNA damage then cell is arrested in G2 phase. At M checkpoint, it is checked whether chromosomes are attached to spindle or not and if they are attached, then cell is allowed to divide. If it is not attached, then cell stops there and cell division do not occur. 
Cell cycle is regulated by complexes of proteins called cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases. At least 10 different cyclins and 8 different CDKs are known. Different cyclins and CDKs act in various combination at specific points in cell cycle. Cyclin is regulatory and CDK is catalytic unit of these complexes. These complexes act as a protein kinase which phosphorylates serine, threonine or tyrosine residues of many proteins involved in cell cycle. And without the binding of cyclin, the CDKs are inactive. When cyclin binds to CDK, it becomes active. Now let's talk about the cyclins and CDK complexes in various phases of cell cycle. A specific cyclin activates a particular CDK which is a serine and threonine kinase. So in G1 phase, cyclin D, CDK4 and 6 complex is active. In late G1 phase, cyclin E, CDK2 complex is important. Cyclin E is rapidly degraded and it is released. So CDK2 then forms a complex with cyclin A. This sequence is necessary for the initiation of DNA synthesis in S phase. Then in G2 phase, cyclin A, CDK1 complex is important and cyclin B, CDK1 complex is a rate limiting for the G2M transition. So this was about the various cyclin and cyclin dependent kinases in various phases of cell cycle. In the next video, we will study about cell cycle regulation. Thank you for watching.